Hello guys, I'm John Bender Waffles Algets, and today, all I want is a Pepsi. Today we are starting our section on characters. Originally this whole section was going to be one episode. However, once I started scripting it out, I realized there's a lot to talk about. So I'm splitting it up over several shorter episodes. This episode will cover the idea of character development. When I was a young kid learning about acting, I learned about a system that will help you define a character on a much deeper level. This system is known as the Pepsi system. Physical, emotional, psychological, societal, and interpersonal. I have since started using this in pretty much every situation where I need to get to the root of who a character is. It is useful due to the fact that it allows you to naturally create someone who has their own motivations and feelings. The people feel more realistic and natural and not just like static characters. Now for this tutorial project, we don't really need to do this as we're kind of just creating your basic RPG with not a lot of characterization. That being said, it's important to learn this now as when you move on to future projects, this could be incredibly useful for you. As we don't need it for our game, I'm going to use Pepsi to analyze a beloved RPG character. That character, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, physical. The physical side of a character is rather straightforward, as it is literally the way that they look and how they carry themselves. Physically, Cloud tends to carry himself with confidence. His physique is slim yet toned due to his years of service in the Shinra army. And that hair. There's really not much to say about that hair. Now, when you're working with a visual media, be it video games or video or whatever, there is one very important part of physical that you need to keep in mind. See, Cloud here has an extremely recognizable silhouette. He is easily recognized even from afar, which is important when picking out characters at a glance. Emotional. Now, in the Pepsi system, emotion refers to the outward behavior of a character. For instance, Cloud here is a character who acts distant and cold towards those around him. Until a later point in the game when he finally warms up to those around him, works through the trauma that he went through in places like Nibelheim, and finally starts to become more sure of himself. Psychological. This is a section I could do an entire video on by itself, especially with Mr. Strife here. Psychological covers all of the internal motivations of a character. In Cloud's case, we see a man who spends the majority of the game broken. The events of Nibelheim and all that happened surrounding Zack left him very fragile. As the game progresses, however, he begins to work through the trauma and accepts who he is as a person. This transforms him from a character who has fake confidence into a truly strong character. Societal. Societal looks at the character's place within the world. Everything from what socioeconomic level they are at to what cliques they belong in belongs within this section. Cloud is an interesting case to look at for this. At the beginning of the game, we are told that he was a young man who left his small little village to run off to the big city to join Shinra's army to become a soldier, which is an elite arm of the Shinra army. However, the truth is, is that Cloud never actually made it that far. He's actually just a washed out foot soldier. He ends the game in a situation that's not that different from when he left his home in the first place. At least in terms of his own place within society. Interpersonal. Interpersonal refers to the relationships that the character has with those around them. Are there any love interests, any siblings? What is the nature of those relationships? In Cloud's case, we can easily look at the relationships between him and the other party members, along with the villain of the game. Cloud is close with several members of the main party, and as such, his personality and well-being are affected by their actions. No one more so than Tifa. If it wasn't for Tifa, Cloud would not be able to find his way through the trauma that he experienced and back to the person who he really is. His relationship with her defines him, much like his relationships with Sephiroth. Sephiroth within this game represents Cloud's every failure. From the events at Nibelheim all the way through Aerith's death, Sephiroth is the lone motivator for Cloud's actions. It is through these relationships with these characters and others that Cloud becomes the person that he ultimately has to to finish his journey. And that's it guys, that's the Pepsi system. You can use this system for pretty much any kind of project that involves some sort of character arc. It is important that you flesh out and make your characters feel real, which is what this system is useful for. Be sure to stick around and look for the next episode in this series where I'll be showing you three different methods for creating the actual sprites for your characters. Click on this button here to go to that video or to my channel if it's not up yet where you can subscribe and be notified when I release future videos. Now is the part where I announce the winner of my 50 subscriber giveaway. And the winner is... Yeah! 
Congratulations. Please send me a direct message here on YouTube and we'll start the process of getting you your prizes. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know. If you have any questions about RPG Maker, I'll try to address them in the future. And subscribe. If you guys really, really like this video, you can choose to support me directly on Patreon. Just click on this button here and that'll take you to it. Big thanks to Cloud9 Studios for everything that they've done for me over the last couple of weeks. Be sure to check out their website by clicking on the link in the description down below. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one.